Welcome back friends, this is Fraser from FTR Studio. This is one of my students, right? Okay, it's a game asset and uh, stylized. So it's low poly created in Maya and then some basic sculpting and done. Now, the issue with this is, as you can see, that this part of here, actually there's a hole. This hole should not be there. So if I go back, I show you a similar hole we have over here as well. So once we come into ZBrush, if we face some issue like this, where there's a hole or we have created accidentally some holes, how do we solve it or how do we resolve the issue? Okay. Apart from that, there are two methods. Okay. So one is, okay, I'm the geometry. If I call G, the close hole option. So we can see very quickly it has filled this hole. Okay. And if I see over here, it has also filled this hole. You don't have any extra hole or extra opening which you have kept as a part of the design then it's fine right so you can see it has filled these two holes but you'll find that the topology over here is different and it creates a different poly group so that is one thing if you don't want i have to make this a single group okay and rest are all poly groups according to the mesh so i don't have an issue hitting auto groups right so if i just go with auto groups under the poly group option over here okay and auto group so as soon as I hit auto group, you will find this this mesh now or this object is now one single poly group. So you will find the same with this. So friends, as you have seen, this is a very simple and easy way of filling holes uh, in any object. Okay, if you want to fill multiple holes at the same time. So for filling multiple holes, this close hole option is pretty good. But instead of that, if we want to fill individual holes, okay, uh, let's see how we can solve that. So let's say we have this again, okay, as you can see, same condition, there's a hole over here. And let's say we want to fill only particularly this hole, okay. So what's the other method for that? We will use uh, Z-mod, okay. So B, Z, and M, shortcut for <laughs> Z-mod. And we'll zoom in and try to get one of these edges, okay, just creating the hole, or the edge loop which is creating the hole. So we come over here and in a space, hovering over the edge, we get this option of the uh, edit, editing options for the edge. Okay. So we come under close, we setting the close, and under target, we see that concave hole is selected. Okay. So with that selected, we come here and we'll just click over the hole. So we can see as soon as we click on with this Z modeler close option, this hole will be closed and the hole on the back side of this poly group has not been filled okay so this method is only fill a specific hole uh, individual okay but instead of that if you want to fill the multiple holes like we have one hole here one hole here that's very clear okay these two holes are very clear apart from that if you have any other hole or opening that also will be closed but in this model we are not having any such hole or opening so anyways let's check this out so just with some time so boom, it has just closed these holes very efficiently, both the holes in one shot. But if you want it to be a single polygroup, then you can simply go to the polygroups option and the polygroups option can hit auto groups. So we'll give ZBrush a little bit of time. Control and shift, click, left click. It has turned it into a single polygroup and even the back has closed now clearly. Okay. So hope. Friends, uh, you have learned something special with this tutorial, short tutorial, and this comes very handy while working in ZBrush. Sometimes you face this kind of an issue, so you can use both, as I've shown you. And let me know if you have any queries or if you want to learn anything else in ZBrush or in Maya. Thanks for watching. Bye. Take care.